Hi, here we are again with exercise number five entitled Electoral Excesses taken from the VLC transcription series where I explain to you the techniques of phonetic transcription. And here is our task. Again we have to transcribe a text, this time the text Electoral Excesses using the LPD notation represented in the Longman Pronunciation Dictionary and of course the reference phonological dialect we have to use is received pronunciation. As usual our text contains line numbers and stress marks to make the transcription and referencing a bit easier. It is subdivided into three parts as usual so here's the first part. Let's go through this part line by line and again for those viewers of these transcription videos that are not too familiar with the vocalic system of the LPD notation, I recommend to have a list of the monophthongs and diphthongs ready to look at. And as you notice, it doesn't only contain the 20 vocalic phonemes of RP, but also the two weak vowels that are used in the LPD notation. If you want, you can have consonants available for you but I don't think that's necessary necessary they're much easier to remember okay ready so let's start here is the headline electoral excesses and quite important the plural where the is is of course used to denote the es plural line two I shall be glad when the next three weeks are over. Immediately you might want to have a linking R in Arova. I will say something about it in a second. Line three. What do you say? Well, here I use the contraction what you say. I shouldn't say. And then line four. That I find them so bad at all. That I find them so bad at all. That I find them so bad at all. Some of you might want to stress so, okay, in which case it would become a strong form. Let's look at connected speech effects. Weak forms, quite a number. I already mentioned the weak form do you, where in as an alternative you could have used, let me write it down like here, where you could have written do you as well with a weak vowel u. I use a more weakened contracted form du. Both are correct. Well and then here we have so as an occasional weak form down here. So and as I said this is occasionally weakened. If you have a stress mark here it would be easier that I find them so bad at all so you can stress this line and then you would have to use the strong form. We don't have any strong forms apart from that option, but we have liaison in a linking R. As I already said, we could insert the optional linking R in weeks or over. Linking R, not an intrusive R, a linking R, so a liaison effect. And we have some elision possibilities here. Again, they're optional. Next three shouldn't say and find them. So next three shouldn't say find them. In all three cases we have the three consonant rule where the internal consonant can be elided as an option. Let's look at part two. Here we have another weak vowel in certainly um, where the LPD often uses this notation Sir, oh sorry, Sir Tun. So they're using a superscript schwa. Well, I don't recommend this to my students, so I recommend to use the non schwa version straightforwardly because superscripts violate to some extent the principles of the International Phonetic Association, which says avoid diacritics where possible. Okay, if you present this as a solution, we certainly would have to accept it. Well, in line six, we have an alternative for sure, 
where you could of course use Shaw, which is an alternative transcription. Whoops, second colon. Where is the colon going? There it is. And um, in line seven, we have contraction again. I already commented on the possibility of contracting do you to do if both are weak. Well, in, I'm in line eight, we have a nice optional assimilation, but I will, perhaps you found it already. Well, let's look at it in a second. Here are the weak forms. Quite a number. We have one strong form. Does an election go on there? Well, it is not stressed, but it occurs at the end of a sentence. And we have liaison in but we're certainly better off than they are in there in the States. Both are optional. We could easily say certainly better off than they are in the States. As I said, liaison is always optional. And so is the linking R in this context. Well, and we have, as I said, assimilation here in this last line. It can be, well, in both cases, we have regressive assimilation, where in the first case, the velar plosive influences the alveolar plosive regressively. And in the second case, the bilabial plosive influences the alveolar nasal regressively so that the optional result could be, it can be, it can be for months and months. Let's continue with part three. Well, really, then we can congratulate ourselves well, in fact, as you may have already assumed, there is an alternative representation in the LPD for congratulate. Um, you could, for example, write it or transcribe it like this. Congratulate. Here you have a weak. Mm. Here you have a weak O in this context. So this is an alternative. Another alternative would be a combination of both where you could have, instead of the short O in Kong, you could have the schwa. So you see there are various alternatives for congratulate. Line 10 is a nice line to represent the varieties of back vowels in RP. We have the short O in on, we have the long R in R, and we have the wedge in lucky. So this is a nice representation of low central and low back vowels, this line. Weak vowel in we, twice. Well, and in line 11, we don't have to go through all that. Well, there's nothing especially interesting. We will say something about have in a second. And in the last one line, we must thank our lucky stars. We have another occurrence of a short e which we should now understand why it is used in the LPD notation. Let's look at connected speech effects, weakening. Well, quite a number of weak forms. We have two strong forms. One of them is have. We don't have to go through all that. As I said quite often, have is never a weak form if it is the equivalent of must have to. It's always strong, even if it's unstressed. Well, and that, as a demonstrative at the end, is stressed, so it is strong anyway. Assimilation. Well, there's one case of regressive assimilation, where the bilabial or the labiovelar approximant influences the alveolar nasal, and as a result, then we can optionally become them we. Okay. The print version of the solution is, as usual, available in the VLC e-lecture library. And if you are a member, if you are a participant of any of our classes, you have free access to all these exercises, well, as usual. So, thanks once more and see you again.